This is how we hold Standing strong in purple and gold And this is how we hold Warrior's song and we sing real strong And this is how we hold When we march to battle, yeah It's left, right, yes, no Warrior's song and we sing real strong And this is how we hold Standing strong in purple and gold, and this is how we hold. Warrior's song, and we sing real strong, and this is how we hold. When we march to battle, yeah, it's left, right, yes, no. Warrior's song, and we sing real strong, and this is how we hold. Now is also known as Bacchus. Look it up, we have a phone, right? Look it up. Feast of Bacchus. Let's see what the Bible says about the Feast of Bacchus, okay? Give us 36. The book of 2nd Maccabees, chapter 6 and verse 6. So the Bible is for the Israelites, to the Israelites, by the Israelites. So right now we're talking about the Israelites. Read. Neither was it lawful for men to keep Sabbath days. So was it lawful for a man? It wasn't. Sister, are you listening? Sister, it's not a lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days. Read. Listen, sister. Our ancient feast are to profess himself at all to be. Listen, listen up, sister. I'm giving you your answer. Hop her down. I'm giving you your answer. Did you? Didn't you ask the question? Now let's hear the answer. Read. In Micah chapter 6 and verse 6, neither was it lawful for men to give Sabbath days or ancient feasts, but to preserve himself at home to be a Jew. It wasn't even lawful for an Israelite or for a, a, a man of Judah to be called Jew. He wasn't even allowed to call himself an Israelite. Read on. Forget about him. And in the days of the king's birth, in the days of the king's birth, his birthday, you can't Every hear month, before. they were brought by bitter constraint. We were brought by bitter constraint. We were forced Do to celebrate the king's birthday. We don't celebrate he birthdays. Don't I, that's according to the Bible. The Bible we says not to celebrate your birthday. Yet. Read on. To eat of the sacrifices and went the feast of Bacchus. The feast of Bacchus. This is in the Greek time, the Greek captivity. In the feast of Bacchus. Read. And when the feast of Bacchus was kept, the feast of Bacchus was kept, read, the Jews were compelled to go in procession to Bacchus. Sister, what does it mean by, what does it mean to compel somebody? I compel you to blood to the answer my blood. What does it mean to compel somebody? When you compel somebody, you're forcing them to do something. Read it, read it from the uh, feast of Bacchus, read. And when the feast of Bacchus was kept, uh -huh. The Jews were compelled to go in the in procession to Bacchus carrying IV. We were forced to celebrate the white man's uh, feast. We were forced to celebrate Bacchanal. Bring it up. What's your question, sister? Them slaves were enslaved and they sang they and they danced and they enjoyed life and, and prayed because they were enslaved. This is enjoying our culture. It's not about God, religion. It's just about us as black people enjoying Let me show you your culture. Let me show you your culture. Give me some up. 24 and, and 23. Why are we doing this to each other? We're, we're fighting right now. Sister, if you're not about no, keeping God's laws, we're fighting right hey, now. You're not with us. But we're not. We're if fighting. you're not keeping God's laws, you're not with us. Right. It's not even. You're not with us. You're not with the Most High God. No. You no. hate God. No, we don't you hate don't. God. You can't accept God. Like oil you come out of your mouth. We ate this is your so-called blacks and Hispanics culture. Read. Sirach chapter 24 and verse 23. All these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High God. This book right here is God's covenant with who? The Israelites. Read. Even the law which Moses demanded for, for an heritage unto the congregation of Jacob. Jacob is who? The father of the 12 tribes of Israel. Who are the 12 tribes of Israel? You so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans. This book belongs to you. Sister, this book belongs to you. Read. Thank God to be 
is strong in the Lord. The book of Surah chapter 24 and verse 23. All these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High God. Even the law which Moses commanded for an heritage unto the congregation of Jacob. For an heritage unto the congregation of Jacob. This book is our heritage. It was given to us for our heritage. This is our cult, our culture. We have feasts. We have you know every Sabbath day from Friday sundown to Saturday, Saturday sundown is a feast? Yes. Do you know that? Okay. So why are you breaking God's laws on, for, on Saturday? Why are you breaking God's laws on Saturday? This is the education I have. Give me Sirach, uh 7, 19 and 19. This is the education that you need to get out of this captivity. Do you love doing that? Do you love seeing the people at the bottom? Do you love seeing the people get shot down in the streets? No, because the gun... Come on, man. No, I only Give me that. The Read. The book of Surah, chapter 19 and verse 19. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. The knowledge, read it again, sister. Shh, shh, listen, listen. The knowledge of the, 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 of the, the, of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. This Bible is doctrine of life. If you want to live to God's commandments, read. And they that do these things, that please him God shall receive it. the fruit of the God tree God of immortality. God. So if you want to live forever, you have to keep God's commandments. This is our education. This is the doctrine that you must, you need to humble down to sister. Humble down to God. This is not our words. We're speaking thus says the Lord. Are you getting that? Are you serious? Give me first, give me first Thessalonians 4 and 8. Yo, all people hate God. All people hate God and they hate their people. You guys don't love each other. They just don't understand. Make him talk. Boom. Listen, let's not forget one thing. Who killed Jesus Christ, the black messiah? Negroes. Negroes. Negroes crucified Christ. Christ was teaching them the truth, teaching them repentance. They said, we don't want that. We want to follow the white man. We want to follow the Romans. So they killed Christ. So guess what? The same hatred some of our people have is the same hatred they had in the time of Christ. Christ said it. He said, the same way they hated me is the same way they're going to hate you. That's what you're witnessing right now. The same people that claim to love Jesus, this is the Jesus that they love. This is the Jesus that they love. Sister, you got the devil on you. You got the devil on you, sister. I see the devil all up in your countenance. You to a quick. Read what you got. Sister, 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 why are you wearing shorts? Why are you wearing shorts? Then you're thinking, you hate God. Do you love God, sister? Do you love God? How do you fight the government? Keep God's laws. You're not supposed to buy on the Sabbath day. No buying and selling on the Sabbath day from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. If you only did that, if you did kept that law, that will hurt the government. You don't understand it. You gotta think. Stop and relax, sister. Read, read what you got. First Thessalonians chapter four and verse eight. Eat therefore that despise, despise not man. You don't hate us. You could be really, really whatever you want to do, yelling at us, swearing at us, whatever. You don't hate us. Read, but God. But who? But God. First Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Either for that despise, despise not man. You don't hate us but who? But God. Uh -huh. You hate God, sister. All we do is we read the Bible like I said before. Hey, oh, Ottawa, who are like also given unto us his only spirit. All we black people are strong. Sister, you got to use wisdom. You gotta use wisdom. The, the so-called white man has militaries. He has the name of seal. We have military. She says we're idiots, right? Oh, we are the only people that never learn from the past. We keep doing the same mistake over and over and over and over. Our people back then had the same mindset that she has. Let's get guns. Let's go fight with the white man. The white man has missiles. The white man has bombs. You want to go fight with the white man? Are you crazy? This is our strength. Where's the scripture in Zechariah? Who knows where it's at? Zechariah 2 verse 6. 
our strength is in repenting in the most in, in keeping laws in Christ. That's our strength. Negroes like that that want to go and fight the white man, they gonna get put to death quick. They gonna get put to death quick. That's crazy, bro. Zechariah two verse verse six, I think. Zechariah two and six. Yes, read that. The book of Zechariah chapter two and verse six. Ho, ho, come forth. No, that's not what it is. That's not what it is. Four and six. Four and six. Zechariah four verse six. Read. This is where our strength lies. You're tired of seeing black men getting gunned down. This is the solution. Black lives. Listen. This, that same hypocrite says, "What about Black Lives Matter?" I bet you when black people kill black people, she don't say nothing. Shh. No snitching. No snitching. The no, white people are killing black people. The white law, the policemen are killing black people. Oh, we need to go and fight the government? Well, our sister, you're going to get put to death. Quick, fight the government. This is how you fight the government. Read. Wait, 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 don't you... Oh, sis, I got you. Hold on, hold on. Tell me, tell me, tell me. The book of Zechariah, chapter 4 and verse 6. Then he then said, and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel. Unto Zerubbabel, the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, our forefather. Go ahead. Saying, not by might, not by what? Not by might, not by light, not by guns, not by uh, go ahead picking up AK 47s, go ahead. No, not by power, not by power, go ahead. Not by manly or human or physical power, picking up weapons, dummy, go ahead. But by my spirit, but by my power, but by my spirit, God said, not by my not by guns, but by my spirit. By my spirit. That's where the strength is. Where is the spirit? In this Bible. In this Bible. Sister, if you don't like the Bible, you're free to go. Just keep talking. We're going to tie the race with you. What are you saying, sister? What are you saying? Say again? Yes. Yes. You say it's worse when they killed us? How is that worse? Oh, we're black. We're supposed to love each other. That's worse if we're killing each other. White people, listen. The Bible says white people... Have, give me uh, Isaiah 35, 34 verse 5. I think it's 34 verse 5. The Bible, you know what the Bible calls the white man? The Bible calls the white man Esau. That's it. You know what? You know, okay. So, the white man is Esau. Jacob's twin brother. Where Jacob? The Bible says that Esau has a perpetual hatred for us. So guess what? The white man killing us, guess what? That's in his nature. What's, it's, what's supposed to be in our nature is how to love each other. You understand? So that's why it's worse for us killing each other. So we need to get the knowledge to understand who we are. For example, if we knew that Christ was black, we would look at each other and see Christ within each other. But we think that Christ is white. So, when we, so listen. You said it would be well, there would be no slavery if from the beginning we would have hearkened to the most high God. Obey God, you understand? But the point is this, listen. When, when, why do you think there's such an outcry when white people kill black people? I'll tell you why. Psychologically, you know who they think shot them? You guys Jesus shot me. Jesus shoots us. Why don't the white man love us? Why? Because we uphold them and we care so much about the way they feel about us. I'll tell you straight up. I don't give a damn about whether white people hate me or not. I don't give a damn. You know why I don't give a damn? Because I know that God is black, Christ is black, and he loves us. As long as we do what he commands us to do. You understand? So that's why we need to restore our people to make them understand God's laws. Thou shalt not kill. That would kill black on black crime in an instant if we kept that in our communities. God's laws is the answer. Why else she talking about, oh, we got to pick up guns and go fight with the government? Is going out and fight with the government, is that going to kill black or black crowd? No. Pick up guns, you said go and fight the government. What are you talking about? Why are you asking again? Oh, come back up, come back up. Let's go to Ottawa. And what do you mean they do what? Take over that blood clot. How? What do you mean how? I don't know. You're talking to us right now. Sister, we're going to... Feel the way still? My mother looked at me... Catwoman is 13 and 1. Cause I hear you saying a whole bunch of stuff about going to Ottawa and all this yes, nonsense. Yes. Let me tell you what the Bible says. This is what we have to do. We have to we have to submit ourselves to the word of God. This is what we need to do. We're not going to continue where we're going to go to Ottawa and do what? 
What we gotta do is come out here and teach our people to keep the commandments. That's what's gonna make us have power. We have power in keeping these laws. This is what this is what we got. This is what we should do. Alright? Romans 13 and 1. The book of Romans chapter 13 and verse 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher power. What did God say for us to do? Let every soul be subject unto the higher power. So we have to be subject to the higher power, the government. We have to submit. And as long as they're not teaching us to break God's laws, we have to listen. If we have bills to pay, we have to pay our bills. You pay your bills, you pay your rent, right? You pay by getting a job. That's how you do it. You get a job? No. The Bible says thou shalt not steal. So that's why you're being wicked as hell. Now we see why you bumped out. Now we see why. Get, hold that for a second. Okay, you know. Hold that for a second. Get Psalm 111 and 10. Brother, you hear how our people are talking? We should go to Ottawa and we should teach. Yes. What are you teaching? What good? What? That's not good. No, you're not teaching you us to do nothing good, man. No, no. No, you tell us to go and, and do wickedness. How you think you're getting the clothes your way? By no. buying it, by no. working, the getting Chinese a job, and buying it I with money. That's how we got it. The Sounds 111 and 10. Here it is. Here it is. This is why you don't understand nothing that's coming out right now. Let me show you. You're talking about you're going to thief and steal. Come on, sister. You're a grown woman. You got to do better than that. Psalms 111, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. If you're stealing when the God says, Thou shalt not steal, you don't fear God. You don't have wisdom. It says, Thou shalt not steal is the beginning of wisdom, sister. What's wrong with you? Read that again. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Right? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Right? Read on. A good understanding of all day that do is commandment. A good understanding of all day that are keeping God's laws. If you're not keeping God's laws, you're not going to understand nothing that we're telling you. Right. You have to keep the laws. All of them. The laws of the Bible. What do you mean what laws? Let me show you one. Romans 13 and 1. Let's get back there. But let's go to Ottawa. Don't come and talk foolishness over here, sister. Come on. No, we're, we're idiots. We're trying to tell our people to keep God's laws, but we're idiots. Stop this. Stop your eyes on here, man. The book of Romans, chapter 13, and verse 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher power. Let every soul be subject to the higher powers. Hear this part. Go on. And there is no power but of God. There is no power but of God. Those people that are in the position, the white man that's in position, God put them in position to put us down, to punish us because we don't want to follow his laws. That's what's going on. Because we don't want to keep God's laws. God put them against us. You don't understand. It's a spiritual battle. Listen, sister. You're talking too much. Read verse 2 again. So who read the book? That guy. The man is fucking smarter than you guys. The book of Romans chapter 13 and verse 2. Whosoever before resisted the power, resist the hardiness of God. So if you resist the power, if you resist the law, that means you're resisting God because God is the one who set them up. God is the one who put us in this punishment because we want to celebrate Camp Banner and wind up ourselves and just half naked and rock with our pants hanging off of our ass and rob each other and kill each other and hate each other. Look at our, look at our women, whores, winding up themselves saying, hey, and then when they get beat up and their baby moms and, they don't have, and their single parents, oh, no man is good. Treat yourself better and you'll get treated better. Love yourself first and then people will love you. Keep the commandments. None of you guys have any kids? We don't all know what you're talking about. None Read that again from uh, Romans uh, 13 and 1. Romans chapter 13 and verse 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of God. There is no power. God is the one who's setting up everything that's going on. We're catching hell because we don't want to keep God's commandments. That's what's going on. Read on. The powers that be are ordained of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. The Indians are better than us. You, you, you hate your own people. That's, it's cool as day that she just hates her people. You talk about the Indians are better than us. We come out here teaching our people God's laws. But you want to come against us. Oh, we should steal. We should steal. Oh, we should go We should go to Ottawa and take over. Man, stop your knife. Stop your knife. Read on. Whosoever, therefore, resisted the power. So whoever resisted the power does what? Resisted the ordinance of God. Resisted the ordinance of God. Read on. And they that resist shall receive the damn, damnation. Those that resist are going to receive damnation. That's why people are getting put in jail. That's why people are getting put to death. 
because they want to go against what God set up. They want to go against what the Most High set up. We are. None of you guys are The rulers are not good. None of you guys. The rulers are not apparent to good works. The Bible, listen, you're too busy talking. You're too busy talking. The Bible said, the rulers are not apparent to good works. You don't see how many policemen driving past us? How much policemen walking past? You see them bothering us? No, because they're not apparent to good works. We ain't doing no wickedness. We come out here teaching our people that they being wicked as hell and ain't keeping God's laws. We ain't doing no wickedness. Read that part, read that one again. Romans chapter 13 and verse 3. The rulers are not a terror to good works. The rulers are not a terror to good works. We're keeping God's laws. We come out here teaching our people. We ain't gonna get no judgment for that. We ain't gonna get no wickedness from the from the cops for that. You know what I'm saying? But let me ask you, are you guys on this side? Where are you where are you guys from? Don't worry about it. I'm from Canada. Where are you from? Oh, that's that's that flag is garbage. All the flags are garbage. It's not about flags. It's about nationality. You're not a, you're not a Trinidadian. You're an Israelite. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. You want to fight for a flag that the white man gave you. Are you serious? Read that again. Romans chapter 13 and verse 3. The rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. But to who? The rulers are a terror to who? To the evil, to the evil. That's why people get locked up in jail. That's why people get destroyed. Because you, why? Let me show you. Amos 3, Amos 3 and 3. We brought this out earlier, you weren't there, so we're gonna let you hear. Why is God punishing just us? Let me show you. You so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Indians. If you, if you East Indian, if y'all East Indian, it's ain't for you. So I don't know, if, if it's ain't for you, you can, you can continue to go on and stop, stop rambling. Amos 3, start at 1, start at 1. Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. And like I said, it's about your nationality, your lineage, not the, not the, the skin complexion. Read on. You despise that the Lord had spoken against you, O children of Israel. The Most High God's talking to the Israelites, so-called black, Hispanic, Native, in, Native Indians, not East Indians. Read on. Against the whole family which are brought up, up from the land of Egypt, saying... You only have I known of all the families of the whole. Hold on, what did the Bible say? Hold your peace. Don't tell me, don't, don't tell me, you can't tell me to do nothing. Hold on, what did it say? Read that again. You only have I known of all the families of the whole. She's too busy talking to hear that God said that he only been dealing with us out of the families of the earth. But what? Since he's only been dealing with us out of all the families of the earth. Sister, you, are you hearing that? God said, you only, you, you people on this side, have I known of all the families of the earth. Read on. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. Therefore, I will punish you. That's why we're the ones being punished. It's not you, you know, she's not She's not coming, she's not here now. You read the Bible, read on, right? Read that again. Do you have to keep prosecuting the faggot? Is that why you're here? In chapter 3 and verse 2. Are you here for that? Oh, no, we're Can two walk together? Except to be agreed. Are you here for that or money? Which Verse one? two. You no, only nigga, have a name nigga, about the families of the earth. Uh -huh. Therefore, I will nigga, punish you for? for all your iniquities. We're the ones being punished because we're breaking God's laws. Do you have children? If they have children, you give your children rules. They break their rules, you punish them, right? You have a pastor. Okay, so listen. God giving us laws. And if we break the laws, he's he going to punish us. No, That's what the Bible says. No, no, is that why? What's what are you going on? What's going on here? What are you here for? We're here to tell our people the, the wickedness that they're in so that they may repent and keep God's laws. Okay. That's church, what we're telling our people. In church, not outside. Read what the Bible. Read 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 the Bible. Why is it why is all the women that are up, up here running their mouth all the time? Oh, because you know what? But you, sister, I know you, you have a question. Don't worry, I'm going to talk to you. Because it's going to be. But she's cussing and now she wants to put a cuss. Why? Relax. Relax. Listen, I'm, I'm going to answer your question. This is what we're doing. Let me tell you what we're doing. Luke 14 and 23. Luke chapter 14 and verse 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, and the Lord said unto the servants, his Israelites, listen. Listen. We don't need to get money. The truth is to be told, not sold. Read on. Go home. 
into the highways and edges. What did God say for us to do? Go home to the highways and edges. God said to go out into the highways and the hedges. What are we? Out on the street and do what? And compel them to come in. And compel our people to come in. How? By telling them that they're in the midst of wicked and celebrating Kurt Banner. That they're not keeping God's lives. By telling them that they're God's chosen people. That they're the best people on the planet Earth. That's, that's, right. that's how we're going to get our people right. I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join our UIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.